Hi Aries, it's Joe from Angels and Ancestors and Darlings. I don't, where's my crystal gone? I wonder if the cat's knocked it off the table. She's a little bugger. Honestly, I'm so sorry, I've just realised, I've just picked up that crystal to put on the deck and it's my quartz crystal has disappeared off the table. Honestly. Oh, let's put the quantum stuff on there. Energise it a bit. Right, so darlings, there's no um, no announcements to make for this week. Um, I'm behind with everything, so that blooming COVID. Um, I'm still having tests and that done, so just bear with me. And I promise I will get back into the throes of getting everything sorted. Um, there will be um, Valentine's readings. They will be going up at some point this week and um and what else what else was there that's it i said i have no announcements didn't i what a div so my lovelies for those of you who are returning thank you so much for all your support it's absolutely wonderful for those that are you that are new here very warm welcome to you if you like what i do hit the like button if you don't hit the dislike button um if you want to join the tribe, hit the subscribe and hit the bell beside it so you know when I'm putting up videos. And the other thing is, two other things. One is I like to get comments from people, messages, questions, all of that sort of stuff. So go for it because I do get to I do get to answer just about everybody at the moment because the community is still quite small, which I really like because I get a lot of interaction with you guys. Um, but the other thing is, I do use the community page, not as much while I haven't been well, but I have got more plans for the community page um, going forward. So look out um, for any notifications that I give on the videos, I will then repeat on the community page. So just have a quick look. Your first energy card in the hand. The universe is your partner. Oh my goodness, the universe is your partner, number 31. Darlings, whatever this is, it's being handed to you. In the hand, it's being handed to you. They're offering you something. They're offering some different way of life for you. They're offering it to you and it's the universe. The universe is standing beside you. And they're trying to get you to notice that they're offering or have offered you something. But because you're not noticing it, they're still like going, take it. You put your hand out, for goodness sake. Um, but yeah, the universe is your partner. Know that. Get have, you, have faith in the universe. Whatever it is that you want that you think is not coming to you, just hold your hand out. Close your eyes and say, I receive it with dignity and grace. And then see what happens over the next few days. Or it may be that you'll have to get into some sort of collaboration with the universe for your manifestations, your wish fulfillments. Um, whatever that means for you, just know it's, whatever they're handing you, it should be in your hand, but I'm getting that you don't feel like that. I'm getting that there is maybe a block for you. And I'm kind I'm kind of getting that this is an emotional block. This is something that is being offered to you that is passionate and desirable on your part, but there is a blockage there. And I'm kind of getting you're not quite are you not quite in the program of believing that the universe can move mountains? Moves planets? Why not mountains? That is a nice card. Oh, I love this. Cat a uh, pillar. Opportunity. Look at this card. Look at those beautiful. And I, do you know what? When I see this card, I see wisteria, I see lavender. I see all sorts of things. I'm just putting my bins on. And can you see these little eyes? They've opened because the opportunities are all around you. They're all around you. Is that ivy? Purple ivy. I've never seen purple ivy. There's some um, 
pink blossoms over here. But look at that. That pussycat also looks like a caterpillar. It does. Um, well, I'm just thinking of a caterpillar turning into a chrysalis and then emerging like a butterfly. And I was looking on the card to see if there was a butterfly and there isn't. Um, but those eyes are all open. So the opportunities are all the way around you. So just know that the universe wants to partner with you. They want you to receive what it is that should be in your hand. Um, and that this opportunity is all around you. you. I'm getting that you know what this opportunity is. You know what it is. And it's to do with your emotions. And I know that you deal with passion and desire really well. But when it comes to opening yourself up and being vulnerable in order to receive emotional stuff, that's when Aries gets a bit stunted. It is. Just go for it. Be a proper Aryan and go for it. Go and put your fucking feet up, put your slippers on and say, either or I'm home. That's it. Accept it. So I started you what the fuck and now we're looking at um facing your fears and taking your power back. Bit of a story there, darlings. Oh, okay. Wish fulfillment and manifestation. Manifestation card for Aries, please. No, not that many. Crikey. A manifestation card, please, for Aries. Did I give you the date? This is your what the fuck reading for the 31st of January through to the 6th of February. Thank you. So that's what you that's what you can do about the situation. Now we're looking at what you can't do, what might be out of your hands, or what might be um, in the background, um, and the universe is helping you work on it. And the reason I'm changing this slightly is because the messages I've been receiving recently um, hasn't just been out of your hands. It has been like we're working on this in the background, or um, this is just round the corner, but we're holding on to it. It's that kind of stuff. So, yeah, so I just want you to be aware that although it might be out of your hands, it's not out the realms of possibility. So, my darlings, reconnecting to your true self, Aries. How does Aries? Thank you. Oh, there's a surprise. And the outcome, please, for Aries. Ooh.
so my darlings what started your what the fuck for this week there's something that you've come back feeling really triumphant about with the battle wagon however the universe is clearly saying to you you haven't got your hands on those reins why are you feeling so confident those horses are taking you exactly to where you need to be and not where you're steering that chariot to and what they're telling you to do is just sit back and enjoy the journey um, take note of the journey be part of that journey it's an important journey for you so facing your fears and taking your power back oh my god when i laid this down i've got such a message for you over this card the seven of a famous now this is my walking away card normally but i got a message that you walked away from a situation you walked away from what was familiar to you to a brand new way of life and it wasn't all it was cracked up to be there was something that disappointed you now that could have been a project a plan or a person but something or someone disappointed you and you're now looking over your shoulder at what you walked away from um and you're kind of can i get back there can i retrace my steps but you have an inner conflict going on, darlings, with the two of a thames. Now, this conflict could be with somebody else. Absolutely, it could be. You could have the same end goal in mind, but you can't agree on how you're going to get there. Or it could be that you've got completely different end goals. You've got the right idea of the journey, but the end goal is not what you both want. Now, your inner conflict is telling you just sow a seed and walk away. Um, because it is no good arguing with somebody who's already got their mind made up about a situation. You have got the wild hunt. You've shone some light into the chaos of the hunt to search for a truth or an untruth around a situation. Now, know that this gives you the opportunity to either decide to rebuild or clear those decks completely and start over. right in behind there and this is facing your fears and taking your power back don't forget about this so facing up to the fact that you made this move and it, it hasn't worked out as it was supposed to either you're in conflict with somebody else or yourself about the whole situation and something has come to light either a truth or an untruth where you need to make a decision and you really do need to stand in your power areas. You have got the king of wands. This is you. This is your energy. You really are trying to stand up as the king energy, male or female. You are trying to sit there and go, I'm in charge of this. I do projects, plans and people. I've got this magic wand. I know what I want and I'm going to go and get it. Because my darling's right at the back. There is somebody missing from the table. They came to the door with a chalice um, and either you didn't notice them or you decided they weren't for you. But they've never left you. They've never left your thoughts. They've never left your feelings. Um, and you're kind of like almost reminiscing and wondering what would have happened if you had accepted that chalice and not this change around your life so moving on to your manifestation your wish fulfillment and why it may be fucked you've got the four of pentacles you are holding on to something holding on to finances holding on to a family home holding on to your career um the person that's knocking at that door i'm really getting an essence that you have spent too much on this and when i say spent i mean you've spent too much time you have spent too much emotion you have spent too much mental anguish over this and you are done and you are deciding not to open that door you do not want them to have any more from you now that's in your manifestation if that's how you're feeling get it into practice don't open the door don't answer the phone if you need to let other people deal with that person that is 
I'm going to say is an energy vampire. They are, because you're a fire sign and you've got this passion and desire, they find it really easy to drain you mentally and emotionally. They do. And an energy vampire doesn't give a shit how they leave you feeling. They just want to suck the fucking life out of you. So, my darlings, know that you haven't got to spend any more. They're saying, hold on to what is yours. Let other people deal with this. But you need to get it out, out of manifestation into reality in order for you to deal with it fully. Don't just keep thinking, that's what I've got to do. Do it. If you need to, just sit down and write out an action plan. You are good with projects and plans. So why aren't you good with this one? Because there is emotion involved. So, my lovelies, your movement, your journey, where the fuck you need to be. You've got the Ten of Chalices. This is an ultimate outcome. This is where you're moving towards. You so want to be in that magical moment with somebody else that you really do want a completion of love. You want to be in that special relationship. Um, now, when I say a completion, you may be adding new people to your family to complete it. You may be getting a cat, kitten or a puppy or something to complete it. You may be welcoming... Um, New additions, whether it's children, grandchildren, nieces, nephews, into the family. But there is a completion. And where there's a completion, there is a new beginning. And that new beginning is all about yourself. It's all about understanding that you need to fill a chalice just for you. Nobody else. Do not do it for anybody else. You need to put into that chalice your manifestations, your inspirations, your aspirations, your happiness, your love, your joy, your gratitude. All of those nice things. And it's the overspill. Once you are completely happy with you and around you, you've got your own happiness. You will no longer seek it from somebody else. You will no longer want somebody else to validate you and offer you that happiness. Because you cannot find happiness externally. It has to come internally. Know that when you've got that new beginning, that one chalice that you are filling up for yourself, it is the overspill of that chalice as it bubbles over because you are really happy with your lot, with yourself and all the rest of it. It is the overspill that you offer out to everybody around you, around you. And let me tell you, once you are in that happy place, everybody else around you will benefit from that happiness. They will. So what can you do about this situation? I am not surprised. I am surprised in one respect, but not surprised in another respect. In the seven of chances, this is choices, blessings and options that are open to you. You can choose one. You can choose all of them. You can be a social butterfly. It's up to you what you nurture. Now, love comes in many different shapes and forms. This could be the love of a partner. This could be the love of a business partner. This could be the love of extended family, friends, close family, all sorts of different combinations. Love comes in different things. However, you have got somebody whispering in your ear, trying to influence your choices. And you need to stop that. You need to stop listening to them. You need to tell them to fuck off. Because if you take their opinion, you take their choice as your own choice, lovelies, it's not yours. That choice becomes theirs and they'll be happy with that because this person is this energy vampire that is whispering in your ear. They are whispering things to you that go against the grain um, and make, they're not making you make choices, but they're influencing your choices and they're not choices that you would naturally make. And right in behind that, you've got the horned god and he comes round to remind you that here's the advocate for everything in nature. And when he turns up in a reading in this position like this, he's telling you and reminding you to ground yourself, to stand your ground and have your say. Find your voice, advocate for yourself. 
stop listening and start saying what it is that you want out of this situation. What's out of your hands, what's happening in the background, what the universe is helping you with, all of that sort of thing. You've got seven of pentacles, so you've three sevens in the reading so far. Again, options, choices, blessings. Now, the seven of pentacles is around your finance, your career and your home life. It is about finding something that you love to do, that you know you can make money for and you take great pride in it. Um, know that these options are not going to change. You know you're good at this. You know you're good at projects and plans. You know that you can make money from this. You know that you are settled. And the universe is saying this is not shifting. This is not shifting because it's, it's stability for you. Absolutely 100% stability. But there is this essence that you need to ground yourself. You need, you've need you got a four here that's in your wish fulfillment. And what, um, and what you need to do is get that out of there and get it over here. So they know that the seven is much better for you. Because you can throw yourself into work in order for you to even take your mind off of what's going on around you. So that you can enjoy the rest of your journey. So love is reconnecting to your true self. And when I laid this down, I was like, oh my God, this isn't a reconnection, surely. And then I had to have a rethink about this card because I find this card really wishy-washy. This is a wishy-washy king, king of chalices, male or female. They will sit at a table with you. They will raise a glass to you. They will eat with you. They will have chats with you. They come across as being really nice people, but they'll be fucked if they're going to tell you how they feel. Now, I understand that if something has recently gone wrong for you, doesn't matter what, um, what the essence is of it, whether it was a love affair, whether it was a marriage, whether it was a partnership in business, whether it was family issues, it doesn't matter. But what they're saying is, is to receive love, with the king to receive what it is that you want in your life wholeheartedly you need to have some sort of vulnerability and this king will not give that up he's kind of he's kind of a bit crunchy and he kind of like sits there and goes well you're not getting past my crusty exterior you're not getting past the difficulties i've had because i'm just going to get hurt again um don't do that to yourself use your passion and desire where you're facing your fears and, and taking your power back. I'm kind of getting the essence that they're saying to you, get in touch with your emotions, understand your emotions, and it's okay to feel those different emotions. One, to get rid of what no longer serves you, but two, to make that return um, and to be able to accept the help from the universe that is very obviously in front of you. Now, your outcome for this week, darling, is, is the Oak King. Um, this is all about perspective, darling. You've been hanging up in that tree for so long, you've lost perspective. You're going around in bloody circles by drawing the affinity sign on the ground. Um, you're not really facing what it is that you need to face in the way you need to face it. So you need to get yourself out of that bloody tree and you need to start looking at the different perspectives of a situation that is around you. Because, my lovelies, at the bottom of the deck, what's hidden from you currently is the green man. This is my leap of faith card. There is something or somebody that is around that you need to take a leap of faith of. Now, the green man is like the fool. Um, he just wanders off through life and he really doesn't think about consequences of his, of his actions because he's not had consequences. He's not been hurt. He's not had those moments where you kind of put a shield up and you've got that crusty exterior so he just goes along thinking that everybody's his mate and he's dancing and he's loving life and he's doing all of that and they're saying this is where you need to be you need to go back to basics start loving life again and just take that leap of faith over whoever or whatever it is that is going to make you happy Oh, 
Okay, so the Whispering Woods of Offered Resilient. Stay strong as the evergreen trees. And adventure. Love. Oh, live wild and free. I'm kind of getting that you are binding yourself. And you need to release those binds. You need to allow the universe to show you what, what it is and where it is you need to be. This is what you want. This is your movement and journey. This is what the universe wants for you. But you're just not there. You're just not there. You may be on your way to being there, but you're not there at the moment. So ask the angels and the ancestors for knowledge, wisdom and guidance. Wow. Great big chunk just fell out of those. So... Number one, you have got She-Wolf, Unleash the Wild Within, and you've got Live Wild and Free over there. There is something holding you back. There is something that I'm going to say is extinguishing your fire. It's putting your fire out. It's putting that spark out, and you need to reignite it. Shapeshifter, transform and unveil your gifts. There is somebody who will happily watch you unveil your gifts and accept them wholeheartedly because there is a lot of gifts that you have to give shield maiden make plans and focus what was i saying earlier it doesn't you know it doesn't matter if this is a personal project or a plan make a plan for the plan guardian angel you are not alone you're not you are not let go of the need to be right with the peacekeeper. Now, that's not to say that you're wrong. That's not to say that, you know, you whatever it is that you thought of, whatever it is that you're going through, it's not to say that you're wrong in any way. But what they're saying is if you let go of the need to be right, if you let go of the need to keep saying that you're right and you just know that you're right, it doesn't give arguments for other people to come back at you. And that's the essence that I'm getting. You know that you're right about this situation. But there isn't a need for you to keep verbalising that. Because you're just flogging a fucking dead horse. Spiritually. Literally. You're flogging a dead horse. Sage, be devoted and committed. And that is not to anybody else but to yourself. Be devoted and committed. Traveller. Move in a new direction. Get out of the bloody tree for a start off. Elder. Move beyond ancestral patterns. Do not repeat the same patterns of the past. Shaman. Trust in higher forces. Trust in the bloody universe. You need that partnership in order to get that opportunity. Trader. Exchange energy to create abundance now. Abundance does not have to be materialistic. It can be physical, it can be mental, it can be emotional, spiritual and sensual. So just know that abundance is not just a one catch thing that you kind of like think of that pops into your head. Abundance is 3D. Abundance comes in many different forms. Abundance in love, abundance in finances, abundance in family life, in home life. Or it just the span of it is absolutely immense. So exchange energy to create abundance. And do you know something when you're reconnecting to your true self? That is a really good card to explain that king. You need to offer out the emotions, the energy to create the abundance that you would like. Where's it gone? In your life. So Aries, wherever you are in the world, darlings, please be safe and I will catch you in the next reading. Bye for now.